Let me suggest something to you. Just because you didn't get the latest game that came out don't mean that you don't have what you need. Just because you didn't get the latest fashion don't mean that you don't have what you need. Just because you don't have the newest Jordans don't mean that you don't have what you need. Just because you don't ride in a pit that don't mean that you don't have what you need. Just because you don't live in a five or six bedroom home don't mean you don't have what you need. I thought I had at least seven people in here that testify and make me be eight that could testify. I may not have all I want, but I sure enough got what I need. I got a roof over my head. I got clothes on my back. Even if it came from Walmart, he gave me what I needed. I got some shoes on my feet. I got some food on the table. I got some heat in a cold atmosphere. And some air in a hot one. I got what I need. Somebody tell them, you gotta learn how to be grateful yeah. for what you got. Cause some people don't have what you have. Some people wanna have what you have. That's why they're so jealous and mean and evil towards you. Cause they're angry that you got something that they can't have. But what God gives to you, it's for you. And whatever He got for me, it's for me. That's why I tell the devil all the time. You can't get none because what he got for me is mine. Look at somebody and tell them it's mine. It's mine. And even the devil can't do nothing about it. It's mine. <laughs> it is. Yes, sir. It is, yeah. Come on. He knows his identity. Yes, yeah. But he also identifies. Who is leading? Yes, sir. And he calls God the shepherd. Uh huh. The shepherd is one who oversees the flock. That's right. And take care of the sheep. Uh huh. Yes. He said, "My shepherd makes sure come on, preacher, come on. that I have what I need." need. Uh -huh. But he told me further down in the word that if I will first seek Him, the kingdom of God, uh -huh. and all His righteousness. I can have what I want. Right. Y'all ain't gonna help me. Right. I can ask what I will, and it shall be given unto me. Yeah. Well, uh, when you seek Him, you ain't got to just have what you need, but you can enjoy a little of your wants. Can anybody in here testify that God don't just give you what you need, but He lets you have your desires too? Oh, y'all ain't gonna help me preach in this house. Can, can you testify that he don't just give me water, but he let me be able to purify it if I want to? Oh, uh, y'all ain't going to say nothing up in this house. He don't just give me cold water, but he gave me a hot water tank. So if I want some hot one, I can get some of that too. He don't just give me what I want, but he give me what I need. He don't just give me what I need, but he also give me what I want. Because that's who he is. So David says, the Lord is my shepherd, shall not want it. But he does something here that brings me to uh, this title, how to have victory in the valley. You got to identify with yourself, and yourself must identify with your leader. All right. That's my first point for those who take some note. You got to identify who you are. And then you got to identify who your leader is. Because who your leader is has a very heavy impact on who you are. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. That's why I can tell who's leading who in the church. The tree is known by the fruit it bears. Y'all ain't got to say nothing up in here. And you can tell those who come to the God's house... For the, for the purposes of worshiping and getting the word and working. You got to worship, get the word, and go to work. You Let me say that again. I don't thank you, Holy Ghost. You got to worship, get the word, and go to work. I don't know why so many folk, Reverend W. in this season, want to sit down. We got so many sit-down Christians and sit-down children of God. They only want to come there, worship, and get the word, but they don't want to do no work. And, and some of them don't even give no money for those who are working. Y'all ain't saying that. Oh, y'all still here. I'm glad to know y'all here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, I, what I'm trying to understand, what I'm trying to get you to understand, you you, you got to get, you got to worship, you got to get the word, and you got to go to work. Come on now. Preach. Preach. 
you you treat nobody fruit and bad. That's why you can tell who's really here for the purposes of worship, word, and working. And you can tell who's here because they want to lie, gossip, cheat, and steal. And then you understand who's leading who. Uh-huh. See, just because I dress up and look like a preacher don't mean I'm a preacher. Come on now. Y'all catch that on your way home. I learned, my mom and daddy just got here, but I learned, I learned everything that look, mother, like it is gold, is not gold. And in this day and age, everything that look like a woman is not a woman. Everything that look like a man is not a man. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach now. Now, I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just telling you what I see in society. That's why the Bible said men don't wear that pertaining to women and women don't wear that pertaining to men because there needs to be an identity and not an identity crisis. What we're dealing with today is identity crisis because there is no identity. But here David, he identifies with who he is. Uh-huh. And with who he is, identifies with who's leading him. Uh-huh. And because he can identify with who's leading him, secondly, he tells us how the shepherd leads. All right. That's my second point. You got to know how the shepherd leads. Uh-huh. Now, the shepherd don't have to tell us anything. Uh-huh. Come on, come on, come on. Right. He don't. Oh, I just lost 20 people. Come on back. The shepherd don't have to tell you anything. Come on now. Let me tell you why. Because he is the shepherd. Amen. All right, all right. Pastor Ward and I serve as under shepherds. And we're under the shepherd. Yes, yes. Yes, so whenever the shepherd decides to talk to us, the under shepherd, uh-huh. then we feed the sheep. That's right. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm just trying to help you. You know how this thing go because I'm so tired of starting churches. I hear you. I hear you. And I ain't starting no more churches. All right now. Unless it's gonna be out of the country. All right. All right. I ain't selling no church to get there. Y'all catch that too. <laughs> Hallelujah. However be so. However be so. God says. Y'all come on back here. God says. Don't go nowhere. I'm trying to go somewhere. He said I'm trying to go somewhere. Yes, sir. But John is up there. So. The shepherd, he shows us how he leads. And how he leads is different from what we think. See, how the shepherd leads, David said, he maketh me to lie down. Green pasture. In green pasture. In order for him to restore me, he laid me beside the still water. Water that listens to water is soothing. Uh-huh. Are y'all with me? Yes, sir. When I am doing certain things in my life, I like to hear the water. Uh-huh. When I need to talk to God one-on-one, I go to the water. Because uh-huh. uh-huh. he said, cast your bread out on the water in many days it shall be returned unto you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What are your bread? What is your bread? Your prayers, your communication with him. Yeah. Say, cast it out there. Many days he'll return some stuff. Now, when he returns it, it may not be what you want. Y'all ain't saying much. When God returns some stuff, it may not be what you want. But what I know about the shepherd, whatever he gives us, is what we need. All right, all right. And there are some things he told me to do. It's not what I want. Rep. W. You know one of them. Some of y'all do too. Wasn't what I wanted to do. All right. But it's what he said to do. There's some things God is telling you to do. It ain't what you want. All right. I I know, I know something, Lord Jesus. Why are you sending me down here? But I'm going, so so, Lord, I just I just I just want a companion. But Uh baby, that ain't the companion for you. All right. Y'all ain't gonna help me. She looks so good, God. She'd be a good looking wife, yeah, but she may be a whoremonger. You don't know. Y'all ain't gonna help me. 
And then when you get in some trouble, now you're mad at God. No, you need to be mad at you. Because God was trying to tell you to leave them alone a long time ago. You didn't see the signs after sign after sign. And the man was showing you that he really wasn't interested in you. It may have been something else. Let me move on past that. However it be so. David says that you got to know how the shepherd leads. How the shepherd leads is totally different from what we don't think it is. The shepherd said, I'm going to lay you down and I'm going to put you in a soothing place because, first of all, I need to restore your soul. Amen. Anybody in here ever, need some rest ever needed restoration? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody ever needed restoration yes, before? Sir. Yes, sir. Do you know how it felt after you received the restoration that you needed? You felt like you lost a ton of pounds. Come on now. And you felt as if not only did you lose a ton of pounds, but you felt as if you had become a new person. Amen. Amen. You've been renewed. Amen. That's that word, renewed. You've been renewed. So so in order for the shepherd to lead you, he got to renew you. Come on. Come on. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all might as well with me. Come on, walk with me. And give me about ten more minutes, and I, I'm almost done for real. But uh, uh, the shepherd got to renew you. You can't be the same devil you used to be. All right. And talk about you working for the shepherd. No, you, you, you can't. You can't be the same gossiper. You can't be the same backbiter. You can't be the same liar. Something in you got to change if you're. Are being led by the shepherd. Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, Paul said it like this. He said, everything about the shepherd is new. Uh oh. And then because everything about the shepherd is new, he said that the shepherd said to me that I behold, I am a new creature. Uh -huh. All things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. So how the shepherd renews you, the shepherd has to lay you down. Yeah. He has to lay you down. Yeah. After he lay you down, the shepherd says, what the next thing I got to do is I got to restore you. Uh -huh. now, 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 I don't care how good you think you are, but until you are restored in the presence of the shepherd, yes, uh, you won't be in communication with the shepherd. Uh -huh. I'm going to say that again. I don't care how good you are, until you are restored in the presence of the shepherd, you won't be in communication with the shepherd. Yeah, yeah. How do I get restoration? Through repentance. All right. David said he restores my soul. Y'all might as well help me now. Yeah. So in order for me to get in, be in communication with him, my soul must be restored. Yes, sir. Yes. And in order for me to communicate with him, my soul got to be restored. Yes, so here that I leave you, I did not to hold you too much longer. He said not only do he restores me, but he leadeth me. Yeah. And he leads me in the path of righteousness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now, let me tell you, I'll never be the most righteous man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You'll never be the most righteous woman. All right. All right. Because of this suit we wear. Yeah. And I'm not talking about no Armani. <laughs> and I'm not talking about nothing from Lane Bryan. Come on now. But what I'm talking about is flesh. Yeah. Come on, right. Because of this suit. That we wear. Yeah, yeah. We are always in constant restoration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're always in a place where we need God, yes, to work on us. Yeah. Are y'all praying with me this afternoon? Yeah. Because. We are imperfect people. Did y'all hear what I said? Because we don't always get everything right. And mama said it like this. Sometimes I dot die, but there's other times I miss crossing 